just picked up a set of these night sighters. They're uh, photoluminescent handgun night sights. Basically what it is is a little adhesive dot that you put on your uh, sight. <clears throat> and this is what I got. Just got these yesterday. You get um, you get eight of them, eight little dots, and I got a pin sitting here, just for comparison. Let's see what size those are. So according to their packaging, the uh, night sighters will glow for a couple hours after uh, being exposed to light. <clears throat> And uh, it's supposed to be five times as bright as tritium sites. So you get eight little dots in there. Um, a little blade. Comes with a, like a half a toothpick to push the uh, night sight into the, if you have a recessed dot on your handgun. I'm putting them on the kel PF9. What they recommend doing is cleaning the uh, cleaning that that hole out really good with some uh, alcohol, with an alcohol swab, and then uh, let that dry. And then you take this little blade they give you, kind of lift one of them off the plastic sheet there. And position it then you take your little toothpick push it in the hole good and they also provide you with some uh, industrial strength super glue and what you can do once you got that position where you want it you can put some uh, super glue around the edges and what they recommend doing is taking uh, just a regular pin or needle and getting a little super glue and just kind of putting it around the edge of the dot which I found it was pretty difficult to do so I just ended up with a drop of super glue and it kind of spread around over that dot and <clears throat> with the Caltech PF9 the rear sight dots are very small they're recessed in the little holes and I, what I ended up doing was taking a toothpick and kind of pushing them into the holes. And the dots they provide were bigger than the holes, so I kind of shoved them in there, and they stick around, stick out on the edges slightly. But I put some of that super glue on them, so hopefully they'll stay in there. Okay, I'm gonna take it down to the basement and. See if I can get a picture of the night sights. A nice dark area. Okay, I'm down in the basement. I got my Keltec PF9. Got the night sighters installed. And I've got my Phoenix TK10 225 lumen flashlight. I'm going to charge up these night sighters. <clears throat> And already I'm seeing a little glow out of them. Turn off the light, see how they look. Oh yeah, those are pretty good. It's not bad. So at the Night Sider's website, they have a comparison chart where they compare their night sight dots to other products. Pretty interesting. And then they uh, <clears throat> take some uh, photos five minutes later, an hour later, two hours later, eight and a half hours later. And you can see that they're Night Sighters dots hold their luminescence a little longer than some of the other products. 
So I'm going to do my own little test. <clears throat> I'm going to charge them up. Uh, put them in the basement and take some photos after 15 minutes and uh, say an hour. See what they look like. Well, after my test with the uh, night siders, I charged them with my TK10 for a couple of seconds. And after about 15 minutes, they were pretty dim. I could still see them, but they weren't showing up on the camera. Um, on their website, they say they, they charged uh, their night sitters with uh, a UV tack light for two minutes. And eight and a half hours later, they're still glowing. I think they have a useful product. I think uh, if you have these on your gun, and you hear a noise at night, you're probably going to have a flashlight with you. You could easily charge them up for a few seconds and they'll probably last that 15 minutes or so that you need to uh, go out and investigate what the noise was. So I think it's a good product for the money, but uh, I don't think that's going to replace uh, tritium sites if you want something that's longer lasting.